So these are two hybrid 3D printed weapons. Um, this one is known as the FGC-9. No one knows why the man who made these did so, but technology and online designs allowed him to produce these potentially deadly weapons from the comfort of his own home. This one fires conventional factory ammunition, so it's every bit as lethal as any other gun firing that ammunition. The other one is designed apparently to fire adapted blanks, which are more variable in performance, but certainly capable of uh, penetrating six to eight inches into human flesh. David Biddle Portman, a forklift truck driver from Birmingham, told police he had an interest in the mechanics of guns after they discovered these assault rifles in his bedroom wardrobe. He'd used a 3D printer to make solid components from a digital file and assembled them. Police tested the firearms and found they were capable of firing ammunition. Anyone who was curious enough to attempt uh, or to conspire to produce such a weapon, um, they'd do well to take lessons from the sentence that's been handed out to, um, to Portman today. And hopefully that will send the message that the police and the courts take these matters really, really seriously. Biddle Portman added steel parts for key components that could not be made from plastic. Police also found bullets in his toolbox. A Sky News investigation found that 3D printed gun designs could easily be found online and in the US a mainly American online community has sprung up showcasing their creations. But it's a growing problem for the UK too. At this stage we're looking at 3D printed firearms as an emerging threat. It's fair to say that we've seen a significant increase in both their design and production and recoveries in the last 12 to 18 months. The prosecution of Biddle Portman is one of the first in the UK for making viable 3D printed weapons, but police still don't know what he intended to do with them. Lisa Dowd, Sky News, Birmingham.